What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year to everybody and I hope that this New Year brings a lot of joy, love, a lot of happiness and everything that's important to you going forward into this New Year. Well, without further ado, in this video I want to talk about having your son squaring your partner's ascendant in Sinistry. When it comes to having a sun square your partner's ascendant aspect in synastry, this is one of the synastry aspects that can make a relationship somewhat challenging to a degree, but it is also one that is very dynamic and there's also a lot of attraction between the two partners. So when it comes to the sun person and how they feel about the house person, the ascendant person, the sun person is very attracted to the sun, to the ascendant person. And the ascendant person is also likewise very attracted to the sun person. They do find both of the partners find each other very attractive. And that is how this relationship really does begin. But the challenges come in once they get to know each other on a more deeper, more personal level. In astrology, the sun represents the ego, while the ascendant really does represent that sense of self and self-expression and the way in which a person presents themselves and when it comes to having a square between the sun and the ascendant in this relationship this does bring some kind of tension some conflict especially when it comes to identity and the way in which the partners express themselves one of the partners in this relationship might feel that the other partner is not being true to themselves or that they're not really living up to their fullest potential in some way on the other hand the other partner might feel that one of the part that the other partner is being egocentric or that they are being too dominating in this relationship and the challenge really with this aspect in a relationship is being able to find that balance between being able to satisfy one's own needs and desires and the needs and desires of the actual relationship. One of the ways that both of the partners can make this aspect work for them successfully is when it comes to their communication. It is important for them to be able to communicate to each other openly and honestly about their feelings and their needs in this relationship. Also, it would also help if they could also learn to appreciate and um, understand the other partner's unique and different perspective and their different and unique ways of expressing themselves. In this way, this aspect is one that is able to bring a lot of growth and a lot of transformation to the partners and to this relationship if they, if they are willing to work through those challenges that this aspect can bring. For the sun person in this relationship, this aspect's effect is felt more personally and it can have more of a direct effect on their own life and their experience but when it comes to the house person they do still feel it but in a different way and to a different degree while the sun person may be the one that feels like the ascendant person is not being genuine that they're not being authentic and this is making it difficult for them to be able to connect to the ascendant person the ascendant person feels as though the sun person is misunderstanding who they are or is not reflecting back to them their value that they're not under that they misunderstanding their self-expression and they could feel very undervalued because of this but ultimately this aspect does bring an opportunity for both of the partners to really learn and grow together they get the opportunity to learn about a different perspective and learn from the differences that both of them most likely do have. There could be a lot of need for being able to 
listen to another person's perspective and being able to develop understanding and acceptance and really communication is key they have opportunity to really learn to support and encourage each other's personal development and growth and transformation in this connection and they do also get a lot from really learning how to respect another person's perspective and their differences there is some effort that's needed to be put into this connection in order to make it work there's also perhaps a lot of some patience that's also needed to be put into it but this aspect is ultimately really deepening this connection for the partners so that they can have that deeper understanding and even appreciation for each other well that does it for this video on having your son square your partner's ascendance in synastry thank you so much for watching the video and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos well, that is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.